Hey guys. Whew. So today I'm using the Buhanka as uh, well, basically what uh, what it was intended for, <laughs> as a a van to move stuff or move people, you know. <laughs> I'm doing some working and uh, uh, some renovating in my uh, actually my uh, my basement, and I just removed a piece of a wall. I'll show you guys later. Oh, so, <laughs> well, you know, it's it's handy. It's, it has a lot of cargo space, so I could put this, get this back to the. I don't know how to say it in English, like the junkyard or anything. We call it the container park. We call it here. <laughs> uh, it's just where you put all your junk, your non-recyclables and stuff like that. So, uh, and it's open today, and I have a day off, so. Why not? Might put some here as well, just to try and get the weight a bit um, balanced, but we'll see. So yeah, using it for what it was intended. I'll show you guys the wall actually. So this was the wall that was in between. You can tell here, it's where it still stood. And here was a door. So these were like two different rooms in my uh, basement. Um, but and I removed a piece of this wall and not the whole wall because my brother uh, He advised me not to remove the whole thing because it's kind of like structurally holding this wall from the outside uh, So it doesn't collapse inside and Well, yeah, this is a little project that's been going on for a while because I never have time but um, Yeah, this is gonna be my man cave. There's a ping-pong table here. You can't really tell there's lots of tools on there But this is all the stuff that I still need to bring to the junkyard you can see i have some water problems here but you know it's been raining a lot so it's really it's only this so you know as long as it it's not like one centimeter or something you know of water it's fine and here's like a little pump and the rest is you know it's quite dry you know just in the corner here a bit so yeah hopefully i'll make this my man cave need some paint and stuff like that so uh yeah idea is to put a gym here and then here would be like the chill place you know like ping pong maybe a pool table whatever and like a sofa and a TV maybe here we'll see This is her filled up to the brim. Well, I didn't do here because I just noticed that this thing is bending. So I didn't put too much weight here. Hopefully, you know, it doesn't break. But I didn't want to overfill it. I still have another, another one to do. But yeah, let's go. Hey, hey. to close it let's check here also filled up So I dropped it off, and there was this nice guy. Uh, his name is Frederick. Shout out to Frederick. Um, and he was like, "Oh my God, Abu Hanka." <laughs> so it's really nice when people recognize it because it's not very known here. Uh, but he's really nice, uh, and he gave me some tips as well. And uh, he's also a camper. He also has his own camper van really nice he so showed me some pictures he did stuff himself so uh really cool hopefully i'll be able to do something like this with uh, the buhanka as well in the future but uh, i got uh, a little receipt um 
I had 500, no, almost 600 kilos <laughs> of stone. Holy shit. That's a lot. That's a lot. So I already loaded up some new bags. I still have some other bags here. Um, and some stone, loose stone, like big, big, big stones, you know, um, that I'm gonna put in loose because I can't put them in these buckets, so. Here you can see me driving back to the junkyard where I'm going to drop off uh, all the bricks and stones that I got from my basement. Um, actually, um, I'm going to cut the video here because, well, after this I went to sleep <laughs> and there's not much to be said actually. Uh, I haven't worked on the basement for a little while, there's been more pressing matters sadly, but um, I'll give you guys an update very soon. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.